This $10 NFL parlay for week two could win you over $1,000. Yeah, you heard that right. It's Austin joined by Logan. We got exactly that. Each of us has cooked up a parlay for you guys to try to make 1000 bucks in just a $10 wager. If you don't want to put $10, bucks, you want to put $1, go for it. But we're both going to cook up one every single week. And we're going to just, all we have to do is hit one, Logan, and we're going to be profitable last week. I feel like Vine had some legs, just couldn't get the value I needed. But hey, it was just week one. We're dialing back in for week two. Let's dive into them. But first, if you're new, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, drop a like too. We are also going to do our other videos where we're putting our actual units on the line. We have an NFL player props video posted right before this one, and our favorite spread picks video is posted on Friday. Go check that out if you want to, put one unit on each of those picks. And before I dive into this one, I do want to talk about DraftKings, which is where both of these uh, parlays are going to be placed. They actually have a great offer right now. You get $200 in bonus bets, plus up to $150 in no sweat bets, which is basically on the NFL if you bet something. They'll give you back your money if you do end up losing. Just check it out. All the details at the top of the description. But we're on DraftKings. Like I said, the best odds are there for these parlays. FanDuel, we did them last week, but FanDuel's odds are just absolutely cooked for some of these NFL props. Let's dive into mine. I'm going to start with my first leg, and I really, really like this one. And I know a lot of guys are going to be on him. His name is Saquon Barkley. I like him for 100-plus rushing yards. Currently, plus 320. Um, Look. I mean, it's proofs in the pudding. This should be a positive game script for the Giants as they're on the road in Arizona taking on the Cardinals. They are four and a half, five-point favorites. A very public uh, play is taking the Giants on the spread. And while I'm not saying to take that, we could see the Giants in a positive game script. We're seeing them run the football. Maybe Saquon can you know, pad the yards late into this game. But we obviously, we talk about week one for the Giants. Anything that could have gone wrong did go wrong because they got blown out 40-0 to zero by the Dallas Cowboys. But we saw in that game, 12 carries for 51 yards. So it's... You know, not a great game for Saquon. Obviously, everything went wrong, so he's not going to get a lot of looks. But we have seen him last year, four 100-yard games. Also had four games where he finished above 80. So it's getting, you know, somewhat close to this line. And the Giant, uh, the Cardinals are a team that just gave up 59 rushing yards to Brian Robinson. Someone, uh, you know, has, has been pretty inefficient in his first two years so far in his NFL career. And we could see Saquon break off, you know, a 75-yarder, make this a no-sweat bet. But I really like his matchup on Sunday against the Cardinals. So take him for 100-plus for my first leg. My second leg, another guy for 100-plus that I actually probably Probably like more than Saquon. His name's Kenneth Walker the third, 100 plus rushing yards. Factory and plus 475 on this. Look, I almost want to just play this on on its own because I think it's that good of a play. We saw basically we just talked about the Giants. Anything that could have gone wrong did go wrong in Week One. Yeah, talk about the Seahawks. Same exact thing. I mean, this is a team that got smoked by the Rams, gave up nearly 40 minutes of time of possession. And you saw in that game, Walker still had 12 carries for 64 yards. A guy like Kenneth Walker, I love a prop like this because. Kenneth Walker has that speed to take away, take something the distance. He breaks one tackle. He could be gone for 75, 80 yards. And we saw that all of his rookie season. And he's going to be the lead back once again in the Seahawks offense. So, look, I really like this one. I think this is a decent spot. We saw last week, or last week, the Chiefs obviously took on the Lions, who the Seahawks will take on this weekend. The Lions did stop the run decently, did give up, you know, 90, 90 yards on the ground. And the Chiefs don't have a running back like Kenneth Walker the third. They just don't have a guy that, in my opinion, can go out there, break a tackle, and just house it. They don't have that guy with that elite speed i think a guy like kent walker could get it done we saw last year when these two teams played in week four we saw rashad penny who is now the uh, now philadelphia eagle he had 151 rushing yards the seahawks had 235 as a team I could see Kenneth Walker getting it done pretty easily on Sunday. And then my two last legs, both 50-plus, one rushing, one receiving. We're going to start with Lamar Jackson for 50-plus rushing yards, which is plus 120. I don't mind his regular line. If you watch the player prop video, you would already know we're on his player prop. His over in rushing yards is one of the plays there. So if you want to go check out our other props, the video will be linked at the top of the description. But we talked about Lamar Jackson. We talked about the Ravens. Now down J.K. Dobbins. Shame that he tore his Achilles, I believe, last week. But they're going to lean on Lamar Jackson even more on the ground game. Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, Melvin Gordon are the three running backs. Expecting that to lean on Lamar. And also, we think about the who they're going to take on the Bengals, a team that, if you were talking about me, basically anything that could have gone wrong did go wrong last week for the Bengals, as well as they got smoked by the Browns. We've seen the Bengals and Joe Burrow historically over the last few couple seasons show up against the Baltimore Ravens defense, who's already dealing with some injuries. We could see the Bengals put on a show on the offensive side and see the, the Ravens having to play from behind. And maybe we see Lamar Jackson rushing, scrambling. We know how talented he is. I don't need to tell you Lamar Jackson is one of the best rushing quarterbacks in NFL history. But at the end of the day, we've seen his history against the Bengals. It speaks for itself. Look at his last seven games. 58, 88, 97, 3, 65, 132, and 119 rushing yards. Absolutely been smoking this line. If you go up to 75 plus, you're feeling like playing with fire. Rather just trust him for 50 plus. That's something Lamar Jackson could do on one carry. I'm going to roll with him. And then my fourth and final leg to wrap it up, I'll put the whole parlay up on the screen. It's going to be DJ Moore of the Chicago Bears, 50 plus receiving yards last week. 
things didn't go great. Great. Two receptions for 25 yards and only two targets. Justin Fields talked about after the game. Look, I got to give my guys like DJ Moore, who they traded for this offseason, a chance to go get out, go out there and get the ball. And I think he'll give them a couple chances here. We'll see some screen plays, which we saw him do well in the preseason. I think DJ Moore can get his 50 plus receiving yards, his plus 115. I don't mind his regular over. I won't be on it on an individual side, but I think DJ Moore has a decent day on Sunday. We've seen him play well against the Bucs. The team he has a lot of history against. In fact, you look at his as eight straight games. He's had 50 plus receiving yards versus the Buccaneers, obviously on a different team, not in Carolina anymore, but he obviously has their number. I hope that continues on Sunday. So you see my whole parlay, $10 on it wins more than a thousand. So you're getting a little uh, extra hundred bucks, but I really like this one. I think it's got a great chance. I think a couple of these legs are hitting. If we get a little bit of luck, could go four for four, turn $10 into over 1100. That's my favorite play of the week. But Logan, you got another one cooked up that I absolutely love. Which one are who, who are you going with on Sunday? Yeah, I, I, I love your parlay, Austin. I think yours has, has a good chance to cash, as well as mine. I, I've got one that pays out 1087 Yes, we're getting plus 10775 on on this one. Let's start with the first leg of this parlay. It's going to be Christian Kirk of the Jaguars, 75-plus receiving yards, plus 380 individually on that leg. I do like that as a value leg as well. Look, at, We look at this Kansas City secondary. They gave up 253 passing yards last week. Definitely think uh, they're vulnerable there. And their last regular season match, if you look back to 2022, Christian Kirk had nine catches for 105 yards. We know Calvin Ridley is the clear number one on that team. He's going to be the one that everyone's targeting on their props. But Christian Kirk can still have a really solid game of 75 plus yards as the number two option. I think eventually, you know, as as that number one receiver option, I think the Chiefs secondary will probably scheme a little bit harder against Calvin Ridley, and that could that could easily leave Christian Kirk open for some big plays at 75 plus yards. He's a big play threat. Now let's go to a second leg. It's going to be an anytime touchdown scorer taking Traylon Burks of of the Titans anytime touchdown. Plus 200 uh, odds on this individual leg. Look at this Chargers secondary. They were absolutely cooked in week one. I don't need to tell you that. Allowed 466 passing yards uh, through the air. They were just, they were a sieve on defense. And I think if you look at what the Chargers are going to be dealing with in this one, they're going to be trying to stop Derrick Henry in the red zone. When you try to stop Derrick Henry, you got to sell out a little bit against the run. That's going to leave some one-on-one -on -one coverage, and Traylon Burks is a, a big physical receiver. He should be able to, to go up and, and have a chance, at least, at, at catching a touchdown in, the, in this one. After only two catches in week one, I, I just think they're going, to, they're going to have to get Traylon Burks more involved in, in this Chargers, er, against this Chargers defense, especially when, uh, when they try to sell out against Derrick Henry. I think Derrick Henry is the clear-cut clear offensive option, but that, that doesn't leave, uh, you know, that, that still leaves enough touchdowns on the board for other guys like Traylon Burks. Now let's go to the third uh, leg of this parlay. I'm taking Damian Pierce of the Texans, 75 plus rushing yards, plus 185 on this individual leg. Last season, Damian Pierce had 75 plus yards in seven of 13 games. So I like that that it's in, you know, at that 50% success rate last season this is obviously he's coming off of only 38 yards in week one on 11 rushing attempts i imagine pierce uh, is going to get more involved in this offense to take pressure off of cj stroud if you're thinking about the texans game plan why do you want cj stroud uh stepping back and and uh throwing the ball a ton you don't you don't really want that for your rookie quarterback i think especially against this colts defense that gave up 105 yards on the ground in week one he's going to have an advantageous matchup and the volume should be there for Damian Pierce he's a really hard runner he's a good yards after contact guy I think 75 plus rushing yards is, is good for him now another 75 plus rushing yards in the last leg of this parlay is going to be James Connor of the of the Cardinals 75 plus rushing yards plus 165 odds on this one individually if you look at how he closed last season he was really good James Connor 10 last season Connor had 75 plus rushing yards in four out of his last five games last year with 62 yards on 14 carries in week one. The volume and efficiency should be there for a guy like James Conner. I can't imagine the Cardinals are going to want to you know, drop back and, and be a pass first team. Look at the spread in this one. Austin kind of touched on it in his analysis. The fact that it's only four and a half, I, I think the books are kind of telling us this could be a closest game. It, the, the Cardinals might not be down the 28 points everyone expects them to be. I don't think the Giants are, are that, that good of a team. And the Giants gave up 122 rushing yards to the Cowboys in week one. Their they're, 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 uh, linebackers, their defensive front does not intimidate me at all. I think James Conner could be in for a big day, and I really do like him to close out this parlay. 
Logan, I love your parlay. Hopefully both of our smack. But as always, if, if one of them hits, we'll give away 100 bucks. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel, and we'll give away that money. Let's hopefully get this done in week two. But we'll be back again next week with some more uh, long shot parlays. We know you guys love to see them. But don't put your next bankroll on them. They're just for fun. So put a dollar, $10, or whatever you know, you're know you comfortable tossing out on a long shot. But let's try to win over 1000 bucks. Heck, even 2000 if both of them cash out. Other NFL videos popping up on the screen. Let's have a great Sunday, and we'll see you guys back again next week with some more long shot parlays. Peace.